Three ways to purify water every time coming up. So team, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through what I carry in my pack each and every single time I move off trail. I have my base weight uh, in my pack and I don't change a few basic fundamental things and being able to treat, uh, purify and filter water are one of the core functions that I carry with me each and every single time I move out. And I always carry at least three ways to be able to do that. There's no way to stop. There's no way to stop this dude from getting in the water. He loves it. Let's pull up a seat. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, inside my pack, I carry, I carry three ways to manage and filter, purify water. Um, Know that we can only go so long without water. So, uh, in the outside of my pack, uh, one of the things I carry is a life straw, and it's just really more for emergency survival scenarios or situations. Like, I can't store water with it, um, so that's probably one of the biggest limitations. But one of the positive things on this is it is going to eliminate 99.999% of everything that I have to be concerned about in this water. I can, I can use it and I can trust my life with it. So this container actually uh, is another means and method that I have of purifying my water. And because it is a clear bottle, what I can do is I can set it out in the sun. That dude needs some training. And in about five to six hours, depending on the quality of the sunlight, this water will become purified and safe to drink. Right, so super easy to use. You can use it without your hands like you just saw me to help try to keep the majority of my body out of the muck and the mire. Uh, pull strength, after it gets going, you know, it's not that bad. It doesn't have that much impact on the taste of the water. And as we're looking at the water uh, in the nailing bottle, as we were kind of gathering it up, it, it doesn't look that bad at all. It is a moving water source. So that's a positive thing. There's some life forms around here i got some bugs if i got bugs that means i got fish if i got fish i got things eating the fish a lot of there's a lot of things going on this is really a good primary thing to look for here as well it's having having some actively moving water that, that's aerating that, that's moving things around and helping to ensure that it's a good quality sign that this water is probably safe safer to drink now, even though I can't see anything in here, that doesn't mean that it is safe to drink. Uh, in, in an emergency survival situation, I, I would uh, drink this water. What are the consequences? The consequences are gonna primarily come down to a couple things, and that's either a parasite or a virus. Most common uh, is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, Giardia, and uh, the signs and symptoms of Giardia is going to include uh, stomach cramps, bloating, yeah, painful gas, uh, feeling that, that, and sensations that we can have, uh, some loose stools and or diarrhea, and it could include absolutely none of it. So depending on the severity of um, what the, the person is feeling and going through is going to dictate based the, and, and dictate the treatment plan for it because, you know, Pepto-Bismol is not going to get rid of a severe case of, of Giardia. Right, so I always carry a stainless steel single walled bottle. And I don't or always carry a stove with me, uh, but in our current conditions, I have a fire ban. And so my fire producing materials uh, with where I'm at right now in an ordinary situation, don't do me any good. So that being the case, I do carry a stove this of course is the jet boil part of it i do have the cup uh but i wanted to simulate as if i was just building and maintaining a fire what we want to do is uh get this going to a rolling boil now that's not going to take very much 
uh, time, and of course, camera hog. One of the issues that we're gonna have is that it's going gonna be hot. So we need something to help deal with this being hot. Just a few seconds, that sucker's already starting to bubble. But what we want to try to get done here is not just a, a little bubble. We need a hard rolling boil. Once it gets to a rolling boil, anything that's in that water is going to be 100% dead, safe to drink. And that dude needs some training too. In order to help mitigate uh, burns my hand, I do have my shemag. And I'm going to show you one other thing that we can do with the shemag uh, as it comes to water. And I have a another treatment plan for you. I need it. it is getting super duper close. That's a good boil right there. This water is now safe to drink. So having, you know, I can, I can pick this up by the lid, but you know, I'm gonna run the risk of if it came loose at all, then I'm gonna spill all that hot boiling water on myself and I'm gonna burn myself. So that's why I either need to use some gloves or use something that you can protect your hands with and set it off to the side. So what, what, are, what are we gonna do with this? It's too hot to drink from, and I really want to just cool it and get it to a temperature that I can drink from. So what we're gonna try to do is transfer this from one bottle to another. And then even though this water is still hot, you don't wanna drink it. I'm gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna let nature do its business and clean or cool that water bottle for me. Right now that we've looked at two of my three methods, we're gonna break out the third. We got one more method here that we're gonna show you. Let me get this filled up here. And as I'm filling this up, I'm really trying to pay attention to what's going into the bottle you know i, I want to try to make sure I'm, I'm not getting any grass great demonstration here so i'm gonna pull in all that dirt because i don't want the dirt right i need as i need to to filter this water and then we need to purify it so this water's a little murky it's a little dirty so let's do that and then what we're going to do is we're going to filter this water that we just pulled it's dirty and mucky as anything uh, in fact Let's show you, hopefully you can see all those sediments that are in there. We wanna to try to filter all that crap out. I'm gonna pour this back in here. I'm gonna go rinse this out. Hold on. Now I wanna take this water and pour it into here. And what I'm gonna to do to filter it, is I'm gonna use my shemag. And we're just gonna filter this water. The materials, you could use any kind of material, any sort of cotton, uh, synthetic blend, uh, anything that you have on you. The tighter the weave, the better the filter, the longer it's going to take. And even, even this, you know, it's just starting to drip in. But the more saturated, uh, once it becomes fully nice and good saturated, the more it will press in. You know, it's starting to go pretty good here, right? And this is by no means a tightly woven material. Get it all out in there. Now we can see round one is pretty clear. So I can do a couple things. I can filter it again, uh, which will pull up even more out. Uh, but again, all I did was I filtered it. It's not purified, it's not ready to drink. So this next method that we're gonna use is gonna help purify this water. And so in my pack, right next to my live straw, I have this sunglass case and I don't keep sunglasses in it. So the first thing you use is you take the portable aqua, one quart equals, right, so one quart equals uh, two tablets. So we're gonna open this guy up, a couple, couple iodine tablets. And we sit here and we wait. Wait five minutes, shake it up a little bit, and that's all she wrote. So this other one, what it's gonna do 
is it's gonna help make it not taste like crap. And then you just wait five minutes. That's all she wrote. Now, what I would recommend if you're gonna use straight iodine, right? This other one is uh, the PA plus. Uh, so it already has some stuff in there to help remove the taste is carry around some packets uh, uh, like like just a little drinkable tea or something that you can pour in to your water so that it tastes gooder. While we're waiting on this water uh, to get purified using those iodine tablets, I'm going to show you uh, the last one, which I know it's a fourth one, but it's really just a, a, a different style of the live straw. So it's a means of purifying water. It's the Grawl. I'll do a a good review on all these things a little bit later. This is what I carry in my pack. So this one's pretty handy. Right, you just dip it in the water and then you plunge and then you drink and it's that stinking easy. Not bad, not bad at all. So the only downside to the Grawl is uh, it's a little pricey and I think you, you might get 40 to 60 gallons depending on which model that you're using so it's not overly effective but it is super efficient scared him by throwing a rock in the water hey team if you enjoyed the content of the video make sure you like it leave some comments down below and uh that way we can keep this conversation rolling I'm meeting rigs i think we're gonna stay out here a little bit longer and just tinker around a little bit appreciate all you guys man until then you stay out there you keep grinding and you stay stoked everybody loves rigs if i was single i think i know what i would do <laughs>